Hi, Eric with Rockin' H Farm Toys. Today, I will show how I make a 21-foot pup out of a DCP Wilson grain trailer. Farmers across America have used the short semi for its versatility. They are great for tight places and narrow driveways. Plus, they are a nice transition for smaller farmers who would like to use the truck for different purposes. In parts of North America, the short trailer can also be pulled behind a standard size grain trailer and semi to increase capacity from field to market, a bonus for producers. Now, your model farm can be just like the real ones with a 21-foot grain trailer. To get started making your 21-foot pup, begin by removing the rollover tarp. For full detail on this process, see the video on how I make a 28-and-a-half foot pup. Measure from the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer 4 inches. Literally, the mathematics work like this. 21 foot times 12 inches per foot divided by 64 or 1 64th scale equals 3 and 15 16 inches. So I use an even 4 inches. Make your mark on the trailer, then cut. For this video, I'm showing a variation to cut the trailer apart. I leave all the internal parts and cut. Once cut, remove the kingpin and landing gear. I use a screwdriver to remove this piece. I found prying from the rear first, then to the front works well. Be careful prying the front as the whole thing can bend require straightening before assembly. The hopper breaks out easy. If needed, square up the cut ends of the trailer with a sander or file. Check for square. Remove the decorative front plastic part from the die cast using a knife or small screwdriver. Cut the sides off and away from the die cast end. I'm using a bandsaw, but a Dremel works just as well. A coping saw or even a hacksaw would work. Remove the cut ends and tarp bows. Wiggle the tarp bows and they should come out pretty easy. If not, remove the inside plastic parts on the side walls glued to the inside of the trailer. Clean any of the burrs on the die cast end and apply adhesive. Take the end cap, glue it back on, and be sure to have it all aligned well. Set it aside to dry. Take a Dremel or file and begin removing parts of the inside tarp rails so the trailer end cap will fit in. Take the same amount off both sides to be sure it fits well. If the plastic sidewalls remain on the inside of the trailer, remove a quarter inch of them so the end cap fits inside. I cheat and use my Dremel. An X-Acto knife will work also. Reattach the end cap using your favorite adhesive. I'm using super glue. To make a single axle trailer, remove the tires from the front dual. Depending on your cutting method, the axles may or may not need to be removed. In this example, I'm leaving the axles in. On the inside of the axle housing, there is a solid piece of die cast. I use that as my guide for cutting. It's difficult to see in the video. Use your favorite cutting tool to make a clean cut. The rear axle will have lost the manufacturer's suspension and a spacer will be needed. I use leftover tarp rods, they work really well. The spacer should be as wide as the axle housing. Glue the spacers in with the housing upside down. If not, the trailer's rear end will sit very low which occurs naturally anyway, so do use spacers. Glue them in with your favorite adhesive. Place a small amount of glue between the axle housing and the plastic piece that attaches to the trailer body. Make sure that these pieces are square and straight. Once the trailer axle housing and plastic are glued solid, add glue to the top of the plastic and insert it into the trailer body. Set it aside to dry. The kingpin and landing gear assembly need a bit of work. The die cast in front of the kingpin will need to be ground, sanded, or filed off to approximately an eighth of an inch in front of the kingpin. This is to allow enough room for the hopper. The corners can be beveled 
so the assembly fits level in the trailer body. Dry fit this part only for now. The hopper assembly is too big to fit in the trailer. Cut the side where the grain gate opens to the rear of the trailer. Cut the second plastic line. This will allow the hopper piece to fit nicely. Dry fit this piece as well. A large gap will exist toward the front of the trailer. Use leftover plastic from the other hopper to fill this in. The part can be laid flat or it can be fashioned to look like the existing angle, which is what I did. A noticeable cut line exists if the cut line is not done well. Glue this piece in. Insert the kingpin and landing gear assembly and glue this in. Two holes for the tarp stops will need to be drilled. I use a 1 16th inch bit. I will also drill out any holes that may have glue or broken tarp stops remaining. Remove the tarp rods and cut the tarps down to 4 inches or your desired length. Use a regular scissors to cut the tarps. Cut the tarp rods to the same length. If desired, the tarp can be made to open and close. I do not do that on 21 foot pups due to the inside of the trailer being unattractive. Insert the 4 inch tarp rods into the cut tarp and begin installing the tarp stops. A very small amount of adhesive can be applied in the holes where the tarp stops will go. A needle nose plier works well for installing tarp stops. Allow them to dry, then apply a small amount of adhesive to each stop and points in between as desired. As mentioned before, my preference is to glue the tarp shut. I apply super glue to the lip where the tarp folds over. I hold it in place until the glue is dried. Occasionally, I'll use a clamp to hold the tarp and rod secure. Once dry, your trailer is done can be used just as in real life on a variety of semi-tractors, single, tandem, or behind a regular grain trailer. I hope you found this Rock and H tutorial helpful. While you're here, please like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel. Then check out www.rockandhfarmtoys.com. Thank you so much for your attention. I'm grateful you stopped in for our Rock and H tutorial.